It is name that set on him was death. Look carefully, and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword, hunger, death, and beast of the earth. There's a famine coming. Hard times are coming. Right now is just the beginning of sorrows. It's the grace of God. It's God being merciful and long-suffering to us. He's that kind of God. He's trying to wake people up. He ain't come up. to bring the peace, boy. He came to bring the vision. What you know about the mission? I can see him coming in the distance. If you won't live, please don't call yourself a Christian. He ain't come to bring the peace, boy. He came to bring the vision. What you know about the mission? I can see him coming in the distance. If you won't live, please don't call yourself a Christian. He ain't come to bring the peace, boy. He came to bring the vision. God bless you. God bless you. I greet you. Yes, this is a special time. This is a special season. Uh, the song that I was playing is called God didn't come to bring peace, but he came to bring division. We are truly, truly just giving God all the praise. We thank him. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you, Patricia. Patricia. P Patricia. God bless you on this beautiful Sunday. I hope it's beautiful where you guys are at. God bless you. I have received some of you all's message. I will get a chance to respond back to you all. We just give God all the glory but i want to play this again and i want you to kind of listen to it a little bit because this is where we at right now and so i just i'm gonna let you hear it and let you kind of just listen to it a little bit then i'm gonna come back on and then i'm gonna kind of share some things i really feel led i i couldn't understand why let me tell you something when you start losing sleep or uh, when you sleep and you feel something that is happening it's like at one point about maybe maybe back in february there was some things that i was feeling too in my spirit but like kind of march god kind of it kind of eased up a little bit to where that i could sleep pretty much some nights all night but now it's like something is finna happen something is coming and so i want you guys to hear this this is by tyson james and it's called division so i want you all to hear it let me turn my phone right on the other phone let me turn it off so i want you just if you can hear the words just listen to it revelation 6 and verse 8 now look at this carefully and i looked and behold a pale horse and his name that set on him was death look carefully and hell followed with him and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword hunger death and beast of the earth there's a famine coming hard times are coming right now it's just the beginning of sorrows it's the grace of god it's god being merciful and long-suffering to us he's that kind of god he's trying to wake people he ain't come to bring the peace boy he came to bring the vision what you know about the mission i can see him coming in the distance if you won't live please don't call yourself a christian he didn't come to bring the peace boy he came to bring the vision what you know about the mission i can see him coming in the distance so you all get a chance i want you all kind of listen to he got some powerful music it's some powerful prophetic music he said god didn't come to bring peace he came to bring division he said what do you know about the mission because this is a mission that each and every one of us own that god is calling us to but in the same token i don't care now it's like when i lay down it's like i'm constantly it's like it's like i close my eyes it's really like i'm not asleep it's like i'm i'm somewhere else it's like i'm in another time zone or or time of something that is getting ready to happen or something that is getting ready to take place and so um that's why i'm saying is anybody feeling like that because it's like it's an awakening it's it's like something is is getting ready to manifest and we're unaware of it and a lot of people thinking that you know america's not exempt from this america is in the middle of this yes it's like a spirit of alert yeah and so today i you know i lay down for a little bit but it was like i was on a journey it was like i was in this journey 
but it's, it's something dealing with Israel, something dealing with the world, it's dealing with the end time, it's dealing with what's getting ready to happen. It's like it's going to sneak up on America. I know the Lord been showing me it's enemies. It's some enemies that they permitted to come into the earth, into America. A lot of things are being, catascope is being set up, is being to knock off the election. I am here to tell you. Because America is divided. There's a great division among America. And America never been in this level of place. Because this in this place, it's against evil and it's against good. And so a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, um, everybody have an opinion. But what do we really know? What is the plan of God? I told God, I said, Lord. I don't want to be on anybody's side that, that you are not on their side. So I want God to instruct me. I want God to teach me. I want God to lead me. I truly believe that we got to have wisdom and we got to have prayer. The only thing is going to save some people in this disposition, this hour of time. It's going to be prayer. I am here to tell you. If you don't have associates with people that are prayer warriors, if you don't have people in your life that can pray for you, you are really messed up at this time. If you don't have loved ones that can pray for you, family and friends, especially we as we begin to grow and it, it don't matter your age you got to have people interceding right now we're in a time of intercept there has to be some interceding taking place and america is going to get hit oh you better put your fast in your seatbelt. i just truly believe that i felt that we need to prepare i just think that People need to maybe stock up on some things, you know, just to have, just to keep. It it may be may not be 2024. It may come into 2025. But because of what is taking place, and I've been up praying for uh, Israel. The Bible said, pray for the peace of Israel, those that love it. They're in. Pray for the peace of Israel and peace and, the, and prosperity. The prosperity will come upon you. The peace of God will come upon you. So as I was praying for him, because I have his book, and I've been sharing it with you all, and because I do have his book, I began to go back and read some things about him. Because you got to remember, he was the prime minister years ago, uh, and then they voted him out. But God has assigned him back in. And I couldn't understand why. When the Lord showed me they voted him out, it was like he's anointed to do this. He is chosen to do this. So everybody that's playing a part right now into what is getting ready to take place, uh, you're going to be able to see the spirit of God. This is where we at. There's going to be a spirit of alert. That, like she said, a, a, there's an alert in the spiritual realm that you're going to be able to know what to do and what not to do. And so it's like my sleep is being taken from me. It's like, it's like I wake up and bam, it's like, it's like, it's like something is preparing me. Like something is getting ready to take place. And so I've been praying for my family. I've been praying for my children and I'm praying for, but it's something bigger than outside of that. Uh, I'm like, God, what is it? You know, reveal it. And so I really think that, and it's not just with me. I think God is, a, there's an alarming, there's an alarm clock in the spiritual realm that is going off and people losing sleep. And maybe this could have been what God was dealing with me about Iran, you know, what Iran just have done. And so to retaliate because of what Israel have done, one thing about Israel, you don't mess with them. One thing about Israel, you don't play with Israel. You cannot play with Israel. You cannot mess with Israel. The word of the Lord said in the book of Zach Zechariah, I think it's chapter 2 and 5, I believe it is. For the Lord God have put a wall of fire around Israel. That means that there is a protection around Israel. And so uh, I've been waking up and I have. I've been praying for that leader over there. You know, I don't want him to bag down because I know the host of heaven is with him. I know God is doing something in him i know this is a season if you really understand and read his book um 
how God is using him. And if you really look in the spirit realm and he know about Christ Jesus, he know about Jesus Christ from even growing up from what his parents has taught him. He know about the coming of Jesus Christ. He know that Jesus Christ is the son of God. He acknowledged that where some Jews do not acknowledge that. But he is well, he is well equipped and he know this. And there's a lot of leader, leaders that know this as well. I am trying to find, there's a video I say I want to share with you all. I may have to go in the house and do it on the computer because there's a video showing that leaders are crying out to God. Um, it's not in the White House. Uh, what is the other place? where they bombarded uh it's showing where leaders was praying and they seeking the face of god and people laying out and speaking in tongues and declaring over our nation and praying for our nation i would have loved to been in that meeting declaring uprooting principalities forces and darkness and demons but to say this is i really believe that we got to be so wise this is, yeah, Congress, wherever Congress, where do they be at, Elder uh, Cynthia? Like Congress, um, ooh, it's not the White House. What is the other place? I, I got so much thoughts in my, uh, it's not the White House. What is the other place where they, they did the January 6th set? I said that. I can't even say it for some reason. That place. I got a video showing that they was there in... They was um, crying out to the Lord, the capital, yes, the capital, and they was crying out to the Lord, and 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 they was seeking the face of God, and I mean those people were speaking in tongues. So thank you so much, yes, thank you so much, and they was crying out to God, and I thought I was like God, this is what this is what we really need now. This is where America need to go back to. This is this is where we got to come back, and we got to the got got to come back to the four walls i truly believe too i'm gonna study something in the book of daniel because he keep dealing with me with nations and you know some things you can't hold back some things has are permitted because the word of god have spoken it and so his word does not come back to him void so there are some things that is happening so in this unpresidential time that they iran never just attacked israel like not on that level to send off what over two or three hundred missiles into israel so israel uh the united states is giving israel the lord showed me that uh the united states is playing both sides that's a dangerous place to be for america right now even though america said that they will help israel and that America missiles supposed to have intercept a lot of those missiles that came through, which is supposed to have been, I think, like Europe and the United States. But me personally, me spiritually, and because I know the power of God, I just believe God himself because he have put a firewall around Israel. And that is his word and he has spoken it. And then he has the host of heaven. So I just truly believe that there are some decisions this week is going to e elaborate on what is really, really going on and who are the enemy really behind this. Um, Benjamin Neptune, he's in assignment and when God has given you an assignment, you got to complete the assignment. You got to finish out that assignment. And so in the assignment, uh, a lot of people do not know the structure of what God has given them until they done got into it or something major has happened or something done happened. She said, my dreams are so vivid that one manifested the next day that's right that's correct so i truly believe that god is showing us what is coming and what is getting ready to take place she says so true i got off yesterday and was awake the whole day that's, yeah that's what i'm saying it's like god only giving me a darling it's like i'm getting a little sleep it's like i close my eyes and then it's like 
I can't describe this because it's 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 troubling me. You know, it's troubling me. And who's that in the Bible said that this is it was troubling them because they could not pinpoint what was going on, what was really happening. And it's like it's something that is right here and God wants us to see it. It's right in front of us. And so uh we're we're really going to get in the presence of the Lord. If I if I have to this week go back into you know fasting and praying so we can pray for Israel and seek the face of God for Israel. I will um seeking God for an answer. That's where my release come in at when I know I done push my plate back and I'm crying out to the Lord for um uh, for you know the world if you look at it look how many wars done 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 ignited um coming from 2020 um uh, ukraine and russia still in war this is in 2024 i think they start coming into war in 2021 it's just it it don't it doesn't add up and then and some of this stuff is foolish it, it doesn't have significance of why are they why why has this happened and now you got israel with is fighting against gaza which meaning that they have a right because they attack them you know and woe to you that you know you come up against israel israel is going to defend she's going to she's going to defend herself and so I think in the place of what is taking place, I think God really want us to get in his presence and he want us to, it's like cry loud, spare not, show my people, you know, the house of Jacob, show them. And then too, because of so much division is in the earth right now, so much, everybody have different views um about whose side and one thing i want to say this we are not against and we don't hate uh certain things that that's happened because i was out there in the world and i was in sin but god hate the sin but he loves the person and so we don't have a right to hate a person of transgender we that's not our that's not what we do that's not what we're saying what we're saying is that we're not going to be in agreement and i would not be with a leader in agreement with condoning i would not condone that spirit and so a lot of people you know wants to debate about the two sides and so by structure we have a we have to fast and pray. That's right. And put on the whole armor. That's right. The war clothes. That's right. I did name it the war room. I named this video the war room. And I really truly feel that we got to do some praying. And I think as we seek God and pray this week, God is going to answer us. God is going to respond. And I do know do the three-day fasting that we did last month is still moving. It's in operation. But it's something that God finna revealed that he don't want to slip up on us. That's it. I hear it. It's something that he's finna show us that he do not want it to slip up on us. And he's getting ready to reveal it. And I think that this is where we got to be at. We got to get still, hear the voice of the Lord. We got to get quiet before the Lord. We got to get in the word of God and listen to the voice of the Lord. Not that we not, but this is something strategically that God wants. Everybody's speaking. Everybody got something to say. Everybody's saying this. Everybody, let me tell you something I got a problem with. When somebody said, well, this is the beginning of the end time. We have been, we don't surpass the, the beginning. We in it. I don't know how far we in it, but you go to scripture, you go to Daniel and Revelation, we in it. My mother then was saying the beginning of end time back then. That's been over 35, 50, 50, 60 years ago. So people want to use this cop out that we in the beginning of end time because people fear what is coming. 
people fear to know that we may be embarking upon some major things the death angels the horsemen these things are getting ready to come up on the land the seven seals is getting ready to be revealed in the earth the open seven seals they're getting ready to be they're being manifested as we speak uh god is the seven trumpets you know the seals things are being opened you know the the black horseman the pale horse these things that is put where we at we are in the book of revelation so i will um begin to talk about what is taking place through the book of revelation and as we do this fast we're going to come out of the book of revelation because it's needed right now i'm telling you the world do not know what you know they the word the bible said the world of wise are those that's in the earth and a lot of people saying yeah something is getting ready to something is going on something is happening but i truly believe that with what is taking place right now some things going to kick off by May. And America is not ready for it. America is sitting and waiting for an election. And the election has already been chosen. We're in the days of evil, wickedness. We're in the days that people would do anything and will destroy whomever to get whatever they need so i truly believe that as we come in closer to prophecy being fulfilled in the word of god and what god have spoken to daniel over in daniel chapter 9 10 11 and 12 what god has given him i truly believe from even in Revelation, the book of Isaiah, those things are getting ready to be. She says, interesting, all last week, what she said, the verse of the day were different parts of Ephesians 6, putting on the whole arm of God. That's right. And if you listen, there's a lot of uh, alarms. There's a lot of alerts going off. There's a lot of prophets on youtube sounding the alarm they are sounding i'm telling you they're sounding the alarm into what's coming but a lot of people are not are taking they're not taking heed to what is getting ready to happen and what's taking place and so i just truly believe that we really need to get in the face of the lord it says this in revelation chapter 6 the open the op opening of the seven seals it's at the same time that i saw the lamb open the first of the seven seals i heard one of the four living creatures shouting with the voice like thunder it says come out and then i saw a white horse a rise carry a bow and was given a crown he had already won some victories and he went out to win more. Listen at this. And then it says, when the lamb opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, come out. I'm reading from the CEV UK. Then another horse came out and it was furious and it was red and its rider was given power. I want you to hear this to take away all the peace from the earth so these are seals these are seals that god is opening in this disposition of time the wars are coming something that been trying to be prevented now we're in it we're seeing it this is unprecedented for Iran to do what they did. But I told y'all it's going to be things that's going to pop off. Things that never happened. Things that's going to be like, whoa, oh, this, whoa. I'm telling you, think it's, it's, it's the spirit of darkness. It's, it's the enemy. And he's rowing. And then it says, and then it's also, it's the spirit of God. His word is his word really is being fulfilled. And so whatever God has 
put in his word, this is what's happening. So that's why the enemy has to play his part. And people that's being used by the enemy has to play their part. And then it said, then another horse came out and it was fear and red and it was given power to take away peace from the earth. There's a lot of peace have been taken away off the earth. There's a lot of people that does not have peace, but we have not seen it on this dimension of level. And then it says, so that people would slaughter one another. This is happening. He was also given a big sword. And then when the lamb opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature saying, come out. And then I saw a black horse and it rider had a balanced scale in one hand and i heard what sounded like the voice from somewhere among the four living creatures and it says a litter of a litter of wheat will cost you a whole day of wages three litters of barley will cost you a whole day of wages but don't ruin the olive and the oil and the wine. And when the lamb opened up the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the four living creatures saying, come out. And then I saw a pale green horse. The rider was named death. And death and death kingdom followed behind it. That means that death angels. They was given power over one fourth of the earth and they could kill its people with a sword, famine, disease, and wild animals. When the lamb opened up the fifth seal, I saw under the altar of the souls of everyone who had been killed for speaking God's message and telling about their faith. And they shouted, Master, you are holy and faithful. How long will it be before you judge and punish the people of this earth who killed us? So even saints are going to be slaughtered. Saints are going to be killed for the name of Jesus Christ. And then each of those who had been killed was given a white robe and told to rest for a little while. And they had waited until the complete numbers of the Lord, other servants and follow would be killed. And when I saw the lamb open up the sixth seal, I looked and saw a great earthquake. The sun turned as dark as sackcloth and the moon became as red as blood. And Jesus Christ spoke about this in the book of Matthews. The stars in the sky fell to the earth, just like fears shaken loose by the storm. Then the sky was rolled back up like a scroll, and all the mountains and islands was moved from their place. Listen at this. The king of the earth, his famous people, and his military leaders hid in caves or behind rocks on mountains. They hid there together with the rich, listen at this y'all, with the rich and the powerful and with all the slaves and free people. Then they shouted to the mountains and the rocks, fall on us, hide us from the one who sit on the throne, talking about Jesus Christ. The one who sit on the throne and from the anger of the lamb, which is Jesus Christ. The terrible day has come. God and the lamb will show their anger. Who can face it? No man can face it. So I just truly believe that we are in revelation and seals are being opened. Even though the Bible talk about the last days and he talks about earthquake, he talk about wars and rumors of wars. He speak about that and he speak about that, that in the timing of those wars and rumors of wars, he said the time is some scriptures said the time is yet to come. Some said the time is near to come is close to the coming of the Lord. And I think we truly see what is taking place. So this week I will start Tuesday and um, we will pray. I will come on at, um, I need to come on at 5 a.m. Central Time. 
I got to embrace myself and get up and come on at 5 a.m. so we can pray for um, America, pray for this nation, pray for Israel. And I truly believe that Israel needs strength. And I truly believe that which God is with Israel. But uh, he said, pray for the peace of Israel. And I truly believe that we need to bombard intercede for Jerusalem. So please, it will be Tuesday, 5 a.m. Central Time. I'm coming live. We're going to intercede for Israel. Uh, gir undergird yourself. We're praying for um, what, we what we don't know, what we can't see, that God will reveal it. We're praying for God to uncover there's a there's some things that's covered up that need that's hid that need to be unveiled so please join in with us this tuesday and we're going to bombard heaven at tuesday 5 a.m central time and we're going to pray for the peace of israel we're going to go in prayer i'm praying now because i'm losing sleep and all of a sudden and i've been feeling this almost like two and a half weeks and so god been preparing me like something is coming something is getting ready to take place even in him moving and he's moving us powerfully but even in my nighttime it's like okay what is it god what is it what is it that you want to show me what is it that you revealing so and when that happened that means that god will take sleep so he can reveal some things to us so please stay in the stay in prayer and please tonight pray for israel and uh, look up every scripture about Israel, the protection of Israel, uh, what God wants to do. Because everything points to Israel. Every nation, every nation, every planet, every nation, every, every tribe, every creed, everything points back to Israel. And so we're going to intercede and pray for Israel. And pray that the peace of God, that God would give Israel, the army of Israel, strength to what to do. And that, and let me tell you something. And that Israel don't bow, Israel not going to bow down to the plans of the enemy. This man is very, I see this man as a man of integrity. I see this man that's running Israel. Is the Lord is with him? Is is the power of God is with him? This man was supposed to do two wars over in Africa when the timing of years in his youth, when uh, Africa and them, the Europeans went against Africa, something like that, or each and 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 Israel and them was involved in it. He was supposed to go to war, but his two brothers went in his place, and they got killed. And so God has a great assignment. And I truly know that this assignment is to deal with what is taking place. The principalities that's coming up against Israel. He is strong for the, he is strong for it. So he's not taken down. That's why God can only give you, and I'm getting ready to close. God will only give you a responsibility if he can trust you. If you're going to do what he said. There's a lot of people want God to trust them, but they compromise. And God know that you will compromise with his kingdom. So God has to get people and he put in man the spirit of truth, righteousness on the inside. And I truly believe that he is fit for this because they brought him back in to do what need to be done and to deal with what is happening over in Israel today. I believe no other person but whom God chose was this man, Benjamin Neptune, to get this done. And so whatever assignment that God has for you, let God, let it be known to yourself. God already know if he can trust you, but let it be known to yourself that you can be trusted by God. And whatever God have commissioned and he has called you to do right now, because I promise you, I can't shake this. I can't shake it. I, I'm losing. I'm losing. It's like, I'm like, what, where is it at? What put my hands, put my eyes on it. So I truly believe that this is an awakening up that God is calling us to intercede. And I believe 2024, as much as we would like to rest and relax, remember I told you 2024,
2024 will be a year of prayer and fasting that we will constantly stay on our face, seeking the face of God and hearing from heaven and what is God requiring from us. So God bless you. Please like and share this video. This is a powerful video. Uh, at the end of this song, at the end of this song, I want you to hear it as I close off and then I'm going to shut down the video uh, as he closed it out. Now, at the beginning, he's speaking from Revelation chapter 6, what I just said. He spoke about the death angel, famine, starvation, trouble is coming. We're in perilous times. It is here. And so I just truly believe that at the end of it, this will, I love this. I love this song. Because it speaks totally the word of God. So I'm going to let you hear it and then I'm closing off. Let me turn it up. To the people out here, they're scared to death because they think they may die. And my dear friend, if you love the Lord Jesus Christ, it's a horrible thing. You keep putting it off, you say. Sure, you put it off. Put off the thought of it, but as sure as you live, the death angel following you. He's walking in your footsteps. He's walking behind you. David said there is but a step between me and death. He knew that. The day will come when you will draw your last breath on this earth. Then where would you go? So that's it. And that's from the beginning I gave it to you from the end. And you all go listen to it. It's called Tyson James and it's called Division. It's a powerful song and a powerful song. And it is speaking of what is taking place. We in the end time of revelation. God bless you. So I probably come live tomorrow by Tuesday morning. So please invite some people on to join in and let us pray for Israel and pray for our nation, America. Uh, we tell we definitely got to stay in the war room. She said war has been war has been declared. Oh wow. Oh wow. And I think they was waiting for Israel to make a decision. And let me tell y'all something. One thing about Benjamin Neptune, he didn't care. He was not moved by Biden, President Biden. He went, he did what he felt he needed to do. He know that America is operating through weak leadership. Anytime you got men sleeping with men and you're in agreement with this stuff, anytime your nation is going up in smoke in a basket of hell and you trying to get me, should I listen to you? Will I take advice? Will I take instructions from you? Would, would I take counseling from you? No, I wouldn't take counseling from you either. And so with the threat of Iran thinking that sh shooting all those missiles over there, baby, God is behind Israel. Know that and know that for fact, God is 100% with Israel. God bless you. You all have a great day.